So yeah, tell me about your clothing line. Clothing line is called Memphis Flash, and it was inspired by the name given to Elvis by the press in the early 50, mid 50s, I guess, when he first came out. They called it the Memphis Flash. Um, it's inspired by everything that Elvis loved about Memphis. So we have everything from Welcome to Memphis signs to the lightning bolt, which references Elvis. We have the, uh, the peacock stained glass t-shirts and the TCB room logos. So that lightning bolt on that blue one is similar to in the TV room. It was Grace traced Land. directly off of a photo from the TV room. Okay, so there it's you exactly go. the uh, it's exactly what's painted on the wall in the uh, yeah. television room. That's very cool. And same thing with the peacock. Okay, so that's the music room, the, the, the stained glass stained between glass. the living room and the music room. Yes, sir, that's it. That's very cool. That's exactly it. So that's, that's so pretty much what is your website? Website is shopmemphisflash.com. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in right there. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. So she's got Facebook and Instagram friends and got all kinds of different different things. So you did the, uh, you designed the logo that's... It's at, that's at Sun Studio, yes I did. In 2007, um, 10 year anniversary of that too, so um, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm excited about that. So yeah. you've been designing stuff for a while. I've been designing professionally about 12 years. So I, um, I focus a lot of my work around Memphis, mm -hmm. Memphis music, Memphis uh, anything that, that sheds good light on the city, I yeah. like. I'm a very big fan of Memphis, so um, that's that's the inspiration. It's just to find a, a way to share that passion with other people, and it's it's been amazing. I get I get orders from all over the world. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty impressive, especially with the change of habit uh, sweatshirt. Which is out of season at the moment, but very oh, popular. I see. So this is the T-shirt that Elvis wore in Change of Habit with Mary Tyler Moore, the very last movie. Right. And there's a lot so of he was a medical student or a doctor. He was a doctor right. in that movie. So this was his. That was his alma mater. Elvis had a way of trying to pepper his movies with Memphis wherever he could, yeah. and I thought that was a very, very, a very good move on his part in the movie to wear a, a, a Memphis that is University very of Tennessee cool. that was a great idea. Uh, sweatshirt. And there's a lot of places online that offer that, but they don't have the exact one that he wore. I took a, bo a book from John that I borrowed about this thick, full of full color shots of Elvis in that movie, and I overlaid them on my computer, and I drew exactly what Elvis wore. So wow. that's one of the only ones that exist that actually is the... So you're saying you do have these or don't have I these? I do. You can buy them online anytime. They're $30. Amazing. Um, that is very cool. That was a very smart idea. Yeah. And Elvis used the name John Carpenter, which was his character in this movie, as an alias it. name when he was uh, flying and doing different stuff. You're absolutely right. And Priscilla said that was the name that he would have picked out for Lisa had she been a boy, John. That's what, that's what she would have been named. I don't know why I remember that, but that just sticks out. I remember her answering that question okay. once. And Amazing. It just stuck out to me because I knew he used the name of his character in the, in the film as an alias. So, uh, But yeah, it's been very popular. I've had a lot of people ask to buy them during Elvis week, and if I had thought people would have wanted them in August, I'd have stocked them. But I wasn't expecting people to want a sweatshirt in August in Memphis, but <laughs> people love Elvis, so yep. they'll, uh, they'll, they'll do it. They'll buy them anytime. That's Absolutely. right. Amazing. So you actually have a, a, a thing here about it. That's showing him yes, in yeah, the there's movie. Him. There's Where shots of him right there. So get those online, friends. Make sure you go to shopmemphisflash.com. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. So friends, let's talk about Elvis in this movie. You see, that is the University of Tennessee Memphis, which is a medical school, which, by the way, my son-in-law goes to, my daughter's husband. That's why they live in Memphis. Elvis was in it with Mary Tyler Moore. This was 1969, and this was his last regular movie that he did as far as just a traditional movie, the way it was shot. Uh, after this, they did That's the Way It Is and some concert stuff. And then this shows that Elvis used the name John Carpenter, the same name that he used in this movie, to fly American Airlines. He used John Burroughs or John Carpenter, and we know that this is his airplane ticket because look Charles F. Hodge used his credit card his Amex to pay for it so now you know friends tighten up every chance you get and this is an actual airplane ticket by the way support Beth and order some t-shirts and sweatshirts go to the website now